All right, guys, we're doing a Leap Quake build. Um, your Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac is going to help refresh your cooldown on your Leap. Also, just dumping Fury for your set will reduce the cooldown of your Leap. You're going to be leaping for mobility, and then you're going to be slamming for damage. And then you're going to be leaping for mobility, and you're going to be slamming for damage. As long as you hit enemies, it should refresh the cooldown of your Leap. Have your war cry up to start, it will help increase your resistances and all that good stuff. And otherwise, let's go ahead and get on into gameplay. Alright, it should be noted that we are fighting our own time here. This is not the original runner's time, so it will look a little tight. Um, but hopefully we improve our previous run and do even better. We'll see. I'm just kind of leaping to gather things up, leave some fire trails on the ground behind me. Make sure I debuff enemies as much as I can. I'm gonna grab the shielding pylon right now and make my way down because there should be an elite right down this way that we want to engage as quickly and as hard as we can. I'm actually gonna pop my avalanche on him because I want him to die before he shields. We are shielded so we can stand in all that bullshit. It looks like our other elite actually came down to us. That doesn't typically happen. But we're gonna kind of jump through him and slam him as well. Usually he stays up above, but it looks like he leashed on us. We moved forward just enough to leash him, I guess. I'm not, wasn't really planning on that, but I guess that's the way it happens, so no big deal. So we want to kill him as quick as possible as well. To drop your avalanche on him to kill him a little bit quicker you can, but that will make it a little bit harder for you to get your leap back up with your obsidian because it could eat some of the cooldown. You saw a section there where I had downtime on my leap. That's because I popped my avalanche to kill that uh, elite a little bit quicker. It's up to you whether you want to do that or not. It's kind of a tactical decision you can make. How much you value the mobility of the leap. It also groups enemies, which is really good for your main damage spender. So, I feel like it's incredibly valuable. Just for making sure your your smacks, your slams, hit everything that you want to hit. Grab all the globes, don't miss any. That's important. And we're just going to move up this way. There's not a ton of density here, but there's a little bit off to the right. So we're going to veer off to the right here and kind of kill these guys. Try and position myself for best slams. I'm going to slam into them and then slam back the other direction. I saw that there's pretty good uh, density over there. I didn't mean to drop that, uh, that avalanche. My bad, that was a misplay. Definitely a misplay. It's going to cost us a little bit of leaping. Uh, again, if you are wasting your your obsidian procs on your avalanche, you're not going to get your leap back nearly as quickly. We're just going to use this uh, conduit to finish those guys off there. I'm actually just going to move into the next floor because I feel like it's better used here than it is there. I'm just kind of move through these guys. Let's leap forward. We have winged assassins who are going to leap on us from behind. And then we have an elite here. I'm actually going to move through the elite and get this room with the conduit instead and then I'm going to come back onto the elite once I have an oculus circle to blow them up instantly and then I'll keep moving uh, and you can go straight for the elite and not bother with that if you want it's up to you the oculus circle just adds like 80% damage so I feel like it's worth worth taking the time to do that and we're just gonna move through these guys and there will be another pack of enemies right here that we can jump through and then slam backwards, slam forward, slam backwards, and then we're going to jump down this way because there's going to be an elite pack over here that we want to kill as quickly as humanly possible. I do want to take the time to kill these bulls though as well, since they will be giving me significant progress. And then we'll leap up to these guys. There's an elite here. And this should be enough to spawn the Rift Guardian. Try not to die in their explosions. You do have a cheat death, so if you have to use it to get a little extra time, you can. I am going to pop my uh, my cooldown there, my avalanche, words are hard, and there you go. Oh, did it in 3 minutes 39 seconds, hopefully that's a decent enough time, but you get the idea. You basically just leap, 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 slam. If you use your avalanche, it's going to make it harder for you to get those leaps back. So in that case, you may have to shout to get some more fury to slam some more. And you may even have to end up using your, your cleave attack. Now your cleave attack does increase damage that enemies take by 10%. But I just found in some testing it, it wasn't really worth it to do on anything other than the Rift Guardian. Just one quick swing on the Rift Guardian is worth it. And I forgot to even do it there. And our time was still just fine. 
So hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully you have an easy time with this challenge rift this week. Either way, thank you guys for coming. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, YouTube.